Hey guys, what is going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV and welcome back to another episode of the San Diego Padres franchise here on MLB 15, the show on the PS4. Fourth and final game of this Atlanta Braves series, which we have won two of three so far. Trying to make it three of four. Here is the starting lineup as the San Diego Padres will be going against Trevor Cahill, who is one and five with a four five eight ERA, 61 strikeouts, in 11 games this season, so he is struggling a bit. So are the Braves, a little bit under 500. Couple things. First off, the San Diego Padres are in first place in the NL West. They have passed the Dodgers. You will see an update coming up soon here as Escobar takes this one into right, but it'll fly out. Secondly, there are some trade rumors going around. The Padres did call up Corey Lupke, the pitcher who is in AAA. He is now in the rotation. And as a result, we had to send someone down, and that someone was Brandon Morrow. As um, it's not like he was doing awful, but he just wasn't really performing to the standards, and I really don't want to keep him in AAA. So there has been rumors going around that uh, we have been shopping around Brandon Morrow to some other teams. Now, these teams are interested, and the rumors that are also going around around this trade are some prospects. The Padres are looking to get some prospects. Uh, preferably in the starting pitcher category opposed to hitters because we do have some decent hitters on our team but uh, we'd like some good pitching so you may or may not be seeing a trade update video coming up soon most likely the next video as we're gonna send Andrew Cashner to the mound who's 5-5 five and five with a 318 ERA 2-2 two -two pitch driven in the left for a base hit but as I was saying trade rumors are going around so Look for that video coming up, and uh, that should be pretty soon. Possibly Brendan Morrow leaving the Padres for a team we do not know. So here is a double play, getting the first two outs of the inning for Kashner. I don't believe we've seen Kashner in a game yet this series. So you're seeing him now as he is hopefully going to get out of the inning here. And he will. Justin Upton makes that catch, as he will 10 out of 10 times. So... Move on to the second inning. Yonder Alonso up to bat, hitting 309. He is doing very well. I moved him up in the lineup as the 3 2 pitch is coming. And that will end the inning. Striking out on the low sinker, I believe that was. So here comes AJ Przinski in this one. Bottom of the second. No one on, one out. Full count. And that pitch is a bit outside Kashner, not locating that one where he wanted it to go. And as a result, we're walking Przinski. And that um, does not get them anywhere. Next inning, top of the third, Kashner, the pitcher up to the mound, or up to the plate, I should say, not to the mound, as he's taking this one deep into left center, but that is caught. Not in left center, I don't know why I said left center, but that was left. He took that one very deep. Wow. Anyways, now Kashner's on the mound, bottom three, and he is getting a strikeout here, getting Mabin on the high curveball, as he'll get out of the inning on that one. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, no one on one out here. 1-1 one, one pitch coming, Kashner delivers, and it's a base hit up the middle for the Braves. So maybe this is something, a rally starting for the Braves. Hopefully we can uh, shut him down here with Kashner as the next batter is up. And that's a base hit in the right. So all of a sudden the Braves have something going as they now have a runner in scoring position. And that will bring up A.J. Brzezinski. They have gotten a couple of hits. He's up to bat again. 1-2 pitch is low and away the changeup fools Brzezinski and he is down on strikes Kashner went out closer to ending the inning and he will do that once again with a low and away changeup this time getting Johnson and that will end the inning he gets out of the jam top five Yonder Alonso is gonna ground into a no it's not a double play the relay over to first for the double play was a bit high as the runner sliding into second took out the second baseman and as a result the runners at second but now at third as they're gonna call that a pass ball I thought we made contact on that one so there's runners on second and third now and the base is loaded now as someone got walked Kashner on the mound 
on the, he's not on the mound. He's at the plate taking this one into right center, and it's going to be caught. So Andrew Kashner, even though he doesn't get the RBI, is showing off some good contact as he has had two pretty far hits today. Unfortunately, Cahill gets um, the best of him, and they kind of got lucky there with the bases loaded as the pitcher came up. So Kashner on the mound, 0-0 game, no one on, no one out. And this ball is driven into center field. That's going to fall. It's going to go to the wall. And that will be extra bases for the Braves as they get a double there to lead off the inning. And now Trevor Cahill will come to the mound. 0 for 1. Runner on third now. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Cahill. He hits this one into right. It's going to stay in the park. But it should be deep enough for the runner to tag at third. Catch is made by Kemp. The throw home is not in time. And the Braves take the 1-0 lead. So... Cahill doing what he could do, getting a run home. Kemp a little mad at himself there. Two outs now. Next batter, 3-1 pitch is hit into right. Kemp coming in. He dives, and he misses the ball. Bad decision there. Myers backing him up as will hold the Braves to a double. But Matt Kemp not making a very good decision there as he dove for that one, which was, I think, pretty clearly out of his reach. Thankfully, they don't score. He's up to bat now in the top of the six, trying to make up for it, and he can't as the slider is fooling him there. And you can see he's pretty upset here with himself as the Braves still have the 1-0 lead. So top of the seventh, Justin Upton up to bat. No one on, no one out. 1-1 one, one pitch to Justin. He is hitting this one fair down the third baseline. And that is going to be extra bases for Upton. But a good throw is going to cut it somewhat close. But Upton is in there with a stand-up double. So we got someone in scoring position. Let's try to get him home here. As that will do it for Cahill's night. As Gonzalez comes out, gets the ball, and they're going to bring in Brandon Cundiff, who is 1 4 with a 2 8 2 ERA. Runner at second. That's Upton. This ball is a pass ball. I thought we made contact on that one as well, but they're calling it a pass ball, so the runner goes over to third. That's Upton. And now this is a base hit into left field. And the Padres tie up the game. So an excellent job here. I believe that was Jed Jerko. No, this is Jed Jerko. That was Alonzo getting the RBI single. Jed Jerko looks like he's getting a base hit in a right. But the second baseman says nope and robs him. So top of the eighth. Will Myers up to bat. 1-1 game. Myers hitting this one in a right. That is fair. That is going to the wall. Will is around first. And a good throw is making it close, but it's a little offline. So Myers is in there with a double. Trying to get something going here and take the lead are the Padres. Matt Kemp up to bat. Two outs. What a nice play out there by Johnson. He drops the ball, though, and as a result, Kemp is going to stay at first with an infield hit, maybe? Or an error. I'm not sure what they called it with two outs. Justin Upton up to bat. And he is going to ground out here. Not even ground out. That's going to be a fielder's choice as... He is not getting anywhere. Kevin Quackenbush coming on. The Quackers are ready. Two games so far in the season. We called him up from AAA. The first time you guys are seeing him in the bottom of the eighth. Starting out well here with a strikeout to Mabin. So uh, he's just looking to get a shutdown ending and keep this tied. 3-1 pitch. The next batter is going to be a walk. So base runner is not good for a reliever. We'll try to make up for it here in the next at bat. Full count again. One out. This one is high, and Freddie Freeman is walked. And now there are runners in fir at first and second for the Braves. Next batter, strike three called. That's the inning. Quackenbush gets out of it. Was a bit of a jam, but he gets out of it. And it is still a 1-1 game in the top of the ninth. It's going to be a walk-off for the Braves if they want to win it. But Alonzo has other plans as the diving play made and left is not a good one. Alonzo... Not too fast as he'll only get to second, but he's going to third. And what are you doing, Yonder Alonso? I turn on an um, automatic base running because my base running sucks, but then stuff like this happens where they just send the runner for no reason at all, and a good relay gets him out. So what should have been a double, he tried to turn into a triple. It was a complete waste of time. And as a result, we are going to the bottom of the ninth, tied up at one. Another close one here for the Padres. Let's we'll see if they can come up with it. As Sean Kelly comes up, the reliever, or bringing him in, 4-1 and one with a 1.85 ERA, I believe that was. 3-2 pitch is hit. Will it stay fair? Yes, it will. It's down the line as Kemp takes a bad angle towards it and is going to throw that in. But it's a double here for the Braves. 
And they can win it with the base hit. 3-1 pitch is low. And I don't think Kelly cares too much about that as now we can get the double play. But there are runners on first and second now. We're going to bring in Nick Vincent here to clean up things. He was 5-2 with the 2.04 ERA with 32 strikeouts. Two outs, one two pitch is low. But it is in the strike zone. And we got him. Wow, that was very scary. But uh, we, we will move to the top of the 10th. Will Myers up to bat, and he is way early on that changeup, and that will end the inning. So nothing going there. We'll go to the bottom of the 10th. We're bringing in Despagne. Trying to close this out and get to the 11th. Runner on first, full counts. Way high, and Freeman is walked for the second time in a rope as Despagne is now having a runner in scoring position. 3-1 pitch is hit. And what are you doing? Will Middlebrooks does not make the play, and as a result, the bases are loaded. Will Middlebrooks does not make the play, and the bases are loaded for Dale Thayer, who is going to have to save things. He's 3-1 and one as the 2-1 pitch is coming, and it is hit up the middle. Graves win. Wow. Freddie Freeman comes home and scores. Ah, Just some bad defensive mistakes there. Cost us here as Simmons is the player of the game. First, Matt Kemp diving and missing that one in right. Then Middlebrooks missing it and not even going up to it at the short bunt. They'll give them two runs. They win this one 3-1. to one. Unfortunately, we can't get the win. You can't win all of them. Stay tuned for a trade update. Otherwise, like the video, subscribe. Peace.